Now we have the concept of power of a set. Now let's see what this is. So it refers to all possible sets which are subsets of the given set. So for example, you have 1, 2, 3. So 1, 2, 3. What are the various types of subsets in it? So it is going to be this one. That is the null set. Every set. Null set, remember, is a subset of any set. Because null set is part of any set. So it involves null set. Then 1, 2, 3. 1 comma 2, writing 2 comma 1 is not is the same as 1 comma 2, 1 comma 3, 2 comma 3 and also the set 1, 2, 3 or 3, 2, 1 or 2, 1, 3 all are the same. So there are 8. Now number of elements here in this particular thing is going to be 3. So this is called power of a set which is basically the number of subsets, not proper subsets, just subsets that can be formed with the elements of a given set or given a set all the possible subsets of that particular set will form the various type this is the power of set so hence in this case it is 8 now it is suppose it is 1 2 3 4 is a set the various subsets will be 1 2 3 4 okay then 1 comma 2, 1 comma 3, 1 comma 4, then you have uh, 2 comma 3, 2 comma 1, 2 comma 1 is already considered, 2 comma 3 and 2 comma 4 and so on and so forth. Similarly with 3 elements, ultimately you will find that there will be 16 such subsets inside. So, in general, the power of a set is always equal to 2 raised to n, where n is the number of elements. In this case, you get 16 sub, uh, subsets, so it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4 raised to n, that is 2 raised to n, that is 16. Here it is 2 raised to 3, 8. What will be the number of proper subsets? The number of proper subsets will be all the sets except this. We don't consider the null set. Null set is not taken as a proper subset at all. So it's eventually all the number of sets minus 1. So number of proper. So the number of actual subset number is going to be 2 raised to n. Number of proper subsets would be 2 raised to n minus 1. Which means you are removing the set itself from the list of things, uh, from the list of uh, terms and hence you consider that as a number of proper subset of it. So because even this, uh, the empty set is a proper subset of every set. So an empty set is a proper subset of every set. So the only set that has to be removed from the number of subset is the set itself. So the number of proper subsets will always be 2 raised to n minus. One. So this is what we mean by power of a set. Now see for example, let's apply this formula. So we have number of subsets of the set 6, 8, 11 is 9, 6, 8. So number of elements in this set is 3. So number of subsets would be 2 raised to 3, that is 8. Suppose the question is how many Proper subsets, now proper subsets would be 2 raised to n, that is 2 raised to cube minus 2 cube minus 1, which is going to be 7. That is, it will exclude the one of the subsets, that is 6, 8, 11 itself. So hence, among these, this is the right answer. Yes, that's what we have. Further. The number of subsets of the set 2, 3, 5 again, n is 3 here, in this case it's going to be 2 raised to n, that is 8, that is this one. Number of subsets of a set containing n elements is going to be 2 raised to n, which is a formula that we are using here. It tallies with what we did. Okay, now they have asked, number of proper subsets of the set 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, n in this case is 
5. So number of proper subsets is going to be 2 raised to n minus 1. That is in the list of proper subsets you will have this thing also which has to be subtracted. The remaining are all proper subsets. In the list of sets, subsets you have this. From that if you remove the set itself then you get the number of proper subsets which will be 2 raised to 5 minus 1, 32 minus 1, 31. So there are 31 proper subsets. Right, so it's 31. Okay, 